Hey gamers, Kyle here with Game Time. Pleased to say I've never once played Flappy Bird. I'm very proud of it. Well, it's been a, a little while if you're watching these in order. It's been uh, a couple weeks since my last video. Just kind of busy with well, three different things. Busy with my job. Busy with being sick for quite some time. Had a pretty bad sore throat and cold. And uh, busy with the game room remodeling, which you can see in the background. Nothing's changed because that, uh, let's say, that did not go over well. It's pretty much time and, and money well wasted. But uh, we guys, we changed some things around. Here we have a nice little thing called Double Feature. I'm going to do probably a few of these in the near future as well. Uh, based on maybe some different characters or game franchises themselves. And our first one, if you took a look at the title, is Miss Pac-Man Double Feature. One of really like the first queen of gaming or whatnot. I have two games here, of course, double feature. We're gonna sit, we're gonna play yeah, four or five, six minutes, you know, nothing too too long. We'll keep it uh, all pretty brief. A couple good Miss Pac-Man games that I, I do highly recommend. The first one is none other than the Sega Genesis version of Miss Pac-Man. I used to have this one on the Super NES but uh, I let a friend borrow that one as well as a few others, and you know how that goes. Never saw them again, which I'm kind of okay with, but one of them was actually uh, the Super Mario RPG for the Super NES. And that one's a little bit harder, a little bit, you know, a little more pricey, so that one does kind of piss me off a little bit. Curse you. Second one uh, we'll be playing a few minutes of is actually for the N64. It's called Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, and like I said, this was for the Super NES as well. Miss Pac-Man Maze Maze Madness was also for the PS1, and kind of a little bit more of a platforming. Well, I shouldn't say platforming. You're still kind of now. It's hard to describe. You'll see the gameplay here in just a few minutes. That will be our second game. But kind of like a maze, and you go around, you collect dots, you avoid ghosts, or eat ghosts, and there's a few objectives you do in the maze, and you just kind of, you, you'll see. It's a fun, it's a unique game. Uh, definitely recommended, so we'll take a look at both these games next, and I missed you guys, but we're back. Game time coming at you next. Enjoy. Alright, first game up on the Miss Pac-Man double feature of games is the Sega Genesis version of Miss Pac-Man. Also, again, available for the Super NES. So, uh, yeah, kind of cutscene here. Everyone kind of has seen that before. Here's uh, the options for this game. This is why I really do enjoy this game. Oh, also, uh, apologies for kind of a worse audio than usual, or visual than usual. I'm playing on my old tube TV that I have, you might see in the background of some videos, I, I like to keep my NES, Sega, or um, Super NES games hooked up to just this tube TV here. No need for the widescreen high def for those older systems. Alright, game time, this is kind of, let's see, play one player, two players alternating, where you can kind of take turns uh, doing the mazes, two players competitively, which will feature Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man on the... Uh, screen at the same time, kind of compete for the most points, as well as two players cooperative, where you just kind of work together to get uh, all the dots and all the ghosts. So kind of fun there, player two plays as Pac-Man. Pack booster is kind of a little bit of a dash when you're being chased or whatnot, you can kind of dash quickly across the screen, it's kind of like a, a running for a second or two. Game difficulty, normal, easy, hard, crazy. Uh, crazy if you're feeling crazy. I pretty much play on normal. The, you can start on various stages as well. I think there's seven total, yeah. And just kind of alternates between them. 
And the base selection here is uh, Arcade, the, kind of the classic arcade that we're all used to seeing in the arcades, of course. Mini mazes are kind of shrink, a shrunken down version of those, um, whereas the arcade will kind of scroll up and down the screen. The mini mazes are pretty much just one screen. There's very little scrolling at all. It's just one tiny little maze fits on screen. Whoop. Big. Of course, basically twice the size of a, a normal maze, or more so the, the size of a, the actual arcade uh, mazes. They're not huge, huge, as you would imagine. Not like Junior Pac-Man size big. But pretty fun. And of course, strings are just, they're pretty large maps as well, but the layout for those are really, as the name says, strange. They're strange layouts. Kind of difficult as well. So everyone's kind of seen the arcade. Let's do a mini one here. We'll do maybe just a, a quick uh, mini maze and then we'll do a big maze. Then we'll move on to our next game here on Double Feature. So one player starting level one. Let's do it. So here we are. Very weird playing this on a Genesis D-pad. Fortunately the D-pad on the Genesis controller is kind of you know, it's a little bit of a bigger D-pad, so it, uh, it feels nice. It kind of rotates pretty well. I would always prefer uh, some sort of arcade stick or joystick, but this works pretty well. It definitely, for newer players, would take... Yeah, would take uh, maybe a couple, couple rounds to get used to. Visual-wise, I like how everything's kind of bright and colorful. Sound effects are fun. Sound effects are pretty much taken straight from the arcade, whereas the visuals are new or, you know, different for the Genesis and Super NES versions. I like to consider myself good at these Pac-Man games. Not expertly good, but I do very well. Thank you. Oh dear. And as I say that, of course, I get... <laughs> I get cornered as I say that. Imagine that. Let's finish up this uh, maze and we'll do a uh, show, kind of show, well, we'll do a strange maze. Kind of show off what one of those will look like. Let's get a couple points there. And I'll just finish the maze. So there we go. There's the mini maze. Let's take a look. Uh, let's reset the game and we'll just do, uh, there's the second stage. Very bright. Tenjin, that's uh, Atari, actually. Strange. We'll do a little starting level two there. So you can see these look kind of weird. Some of the later stages get pretty weird looking as well. It's just kind of no real pattern or anything to them. We probably won't do all this stage. We'll just uh, get a few points here. Call it good. Oh 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 oh! Maybe that's all. We'll do. <laughs> Player one is ready. Let's go to the top. You can see some of the scrolling on this. See if you remember on our mini maze, there was very little scrolling, if, if at all. You could get the whole maze on one screen. Kind of don't like the scrolling too much because you can never tell if there's ghosts on the bottom where they're at. They just kind of will come up either on top of the screen or below it. It's pretty weird, pretty difficult to kind of tell sometimes. Like that one just went down there. I like to keep uh, an eye on all of the action. All right, let's just get these four. In. We'll uh, we'll say we we went on for a very very successful round of Miss Pac-Man. All right, let's go next to the N64 Maze Madness. All right, the second half of our double features the Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness for the N64. Again, it's also available on the PS1 as well. We got the nice uh, higher def TV back. Actually, I'm going to adjust the camera here just a little bit. Bear with me. Make sure it's properly in frame. There we go. Let's uh, see our options. We have a new game, of course. Multiplayer is in there. We have, uh, we can load our previous game. 
and Classic, of course, the classic Miss Pac-Man everyone knows and loves available in the game. Pretty nice, uh, again, this is the N64, so it's very nice using the uh, joystick on the 64 controller. Alright, we know how that goes. We're just going to go back to the main menu here. Let's start a new game, just to take a look and see if we can squeeze in the first stage. So yeah, here's a story. We go around and we, we do stuff. So, Alright, we start in Cleopatra. Get it? Yep. <laughs> I have my rumble pack. And here we go. Miss Pac-Man has to save the day. Actually, I don't know if this is the first stage. Oh, I did hit a new game, so it has to be the first stage here. So here's our basic. We uh, control stick moves us around here a little bit. We learn some stuff from Professor Pack. B button zooms in to us really close. A button kind of zooms out. Shoulder buttons don't really do anything other than tell us our sort of statuses there in the corner. So, and here we go. This is basically the game itself. We kind of go around uh, various mazes. We collect uh, all the dots, although I don't think it's mandatory to get every single dot. But it is half the fun of the game. Plays just like uh, any classic pack title. Get the ghost, eat the dots. Nice maze here. Really, really do enjoy the music. I'll save that one here. Here we go. I don't think we ever played a uh, N64 game yet here on Game Time. I know I had a, a couple games on my a previous channel that I had. It was just a bunch of Let's Plays. Take the warp there. Did a couple of 64 games, but I don't know nothing here on Game Time yet. Yes, I did have a previous channel, but it was just a bunch of Let's Plays. There's our checkpoint. Some block moving, so some puzzle elements. I'm, I'm going to go on the limb and assume uh, a little bit later in the game it'll be a little bit more trickier. Here he's telling us about the pop-up pads there. I'll let you fly into the <laughs> air. So already we know what we need to do here. Oh, I hit reset coin. All right. We'll move that block. We won't hit that coin. And there we go. Hmm. Another maze has been integrated. I really do like that music again. Wow, it's kind of funky. Alright, we'll have to find a blue key to get that block moved. Extra lives, I'm assuming. It looks like it was hearts. Our extra lives. Look at that, a blue key. Anything over here? Like the little pop up effect there is cute. Mud kind of slows us down. Hmm, I do kind of want to get that extra life, and not that it's really going to matter. Here's some brief gameplay. Ah, okay. I see. <laughs> Hearts are for health. Oh, Pac-Man heads are extra life. 
I'm gonna do this on purpose. I'm gonna get hit, get hit by this ghost. Yeah, it takes a lot of health, so you can actually take a, it. Looks like a couple hits for sure. So it's nice to know if you get hit, you won't uh, automatically be killed. That'd be good. I couldn't remember what if you could. Yeah. There's some dots for leaving, and we might be able to get back to them. Yeah, here we go. Quite a ways back. Alright, well, before the video gets overly long, that is kind of basically uh, the Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness in 64 PS1, as well as our previous game here in Double Feature, the Sega version of just Miss Pac-Man. Lots of great uh, mazes there, and the ability to play uh, some two-player games. Very customizable. I, I, I love that, and it's, that's also available for the Super NES as well. So. Uh, other than that, great to be back. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and watching the video. Uh, leave some comments. What's your favorite uh, pack uh, game in the pack series? Or, you know, what, what's your opinion of these two games? So, it's good to get a good discussion going. And thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's definitely not mandatory, but uh, you're all awesome. So, stay classic, everyone, and take care.